Hi, I'm Ivan Hughes, and I'm a field reporter for Tourism British Columbia, and I'm down at the Queen Elizabeth Theatre in downtown Vancouver, which has been transformed into the Aboriginal Pavilion just in time for the 2010 Olympics. So let's go on in, have a look, and then we'll check out a couple other places that celebrate Aboriginal arts and culture. The Aboriginal Pavilion will showcase the best singing, dancing performances from Aboriginal people across Canada to, sh to welcome the world, to show them their cultures, their histories. Their people are here and proud and thriving. Well, I'm now down on Hornby Street at the Bill Reed Gallery, so let's go on inside and have a look. Bill Reed Gallery is a wonderful place to come if you're new to Vancouver and right now during the Olympics we have a special show called Continuum, 23 artists in mid-career who continue the ideas of Bill Reed, Canada's master Haida artist. Come and see wonderful original Bill Reed pieces in jewelry and silver and gold, an onyx raven in the first men and mythic messengers, a magnificent bronze casting, truly monumental art. And so now I'm up in Whistler, which is where the traditional territories of the Squamish and Lillooet nations overlapped. And today you can explore those cultures at the Squamish Lillooet Cultural Centre. So let's go inside and have a look. Welcome to Squamish Lillooet Ulu Cultural Centre. And uh, here at the Cultural Centre, we uh, showcase some of our artwork and our carving and our basketry and weaving storytelling, songs and dance. And I guess the main purpose of this cultural center is to show, you know, the, the rest of the world that the Litwat and the Skohopmish people are still here practicing our ancient beliefs and, and traditions and protocols. And today's turning into a very special day here at the cultural center because they're having a visit from the Governor General of Mukaojian. 